Why does the game mean so much to you? Because um, you get to play with your brothers, you get to play with people who love the game just as much as you do, and it just makes it um, special. I've seen you in practice, and I've even seen you in pregame warmups. Sometimes pop a guy a little too much. Do you get, is it just the overall enthusiasm of all of it? Is the opportunity to be out there? What gets you so fired up? What gets you so excited? Because I've been playing this game since I was nine, and you know, I just want to have fun with it. And sometimes in warm ups, I'm a little too juiced up, like naturally, and you know, I might knock the hell out of somebody by accident. So, you know, but just getting ready for the game. Do you have to apologize? Yeah, sometimes I'm like, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> you know. The thing about, about how you hit people, I mean, there is a force with you. My broadcast partner, Coach Dave McGinnis, who coached linebackers in the league for 30 years, he says you're a heavy player. Everything you do is, is a heavy hit. Why do you think that is? I mean, to be honest, I don't, my goal is not to like smack people all the time. I'm just trying to make the tackle. And if I happen to smack you on the way to doing that, it just happens, you know, it just happens. But, you know, I'm just trying to be a sure tackler and make plays in space because that's what today's game is, you know what I mean? And sometimes in coverages, you're matched up on a guy who is faster than you, quicker than you, and you got to use your uh, technique and fundamentals or of what you've learned and been coached to do to be able to make up for that discrepancy, you know? We know the stories about you coming to Nissan Stadium as a kid from Huntsville, Alabama. Yeah. What are your What are your best memories of that? I just re well, actually, the Titans lost, and so I was just kind of here. I was with um, the Chris Minsky family. They actually come into the game this weekend. Uh, I played football with their kids back in the day, and um, I remember it was Peyton Manning. It was Sunday Night Football. Reggie Wayne, Dallas Clark, uh, Vanden Bosch, Bullock, Cortland Finnegan, Michael Griffin. Like I remember, like it was yesterday, and I was like, I'm just sitting in the stands, like. Man, I'm gonna be playing. I ain't say I was gonna be at the Titans, but I'm like, man, I'm gonna be playing, you know, in the NFL one day. You know what I mean? Like, I just knew it since I was nine, honestly. And so, you know, it's crazy to now be not watching, but actually playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy how it like just came in full circle like that. Uh, that's remarkable because I mean, here you are with the Tennessee Titans, wearing number 56 playing against the Dallas Cowboys on Thursday night football in prime time for the whole country to see. And, and you expected it? I know how hard I work. You know what I'm saying? I know my capabilities. And like, I played at one of the best schools in the, in the in the world, like for college football, and that's Georgia. And I think we all know that. You know, you see the players coming out of there. So, you know what I mean? And I just know my capabilities and it's my mindset. Like, that's just how I roll. That's just how I was brought up from kid to James Clemens to now to college like that's just how it's been. Monty you realize that's an incredible story though that you've come from there sitting in the stands said I'm going to do this visualized it and then made it happen so with something that remarkable what would you say to a young person who wants to chase any sort of dream like that football or otherwise? Yeah like um, I always hate when people when like coming up as a when you're playing sports people like you need to have a plan B you know what I mean but how I look at it is when somebody wants to be a doctor or a lawyer, nobody tells them to have a plan B. You know what I mean? And with me saying that, what I'm trying to say is don't let nobody like tell you what you can and can't do. You know what I'm saying? Because it's up to you, um, that person, to get up every day and, you know, chase what they want to chase. You know what I mean? Nobody else can control that but God. So honestly, you know, obviously, all those football players, we get a lot of doubt from people by having plan Bs and, and I'm not going to play scared. I'm not going to flinch and I'm just going to roll. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to roll and whatever happens, happens. That's why you're going to be a great linebacker in this league. You're a good linebacker, but you expect to be a great linebacker. 100%.